thing, it doesn't really matter. The movers will send us everything next month. I, I know this is hard. It's fine. This is the right decision. I know. I want to do everything I can to make this a smooth transition for you. So does Mitch. Good. The actual departure is the hardest part. Let's put there we can relax and enjoy ourselves. I know. You'll love New York. I can't wait. You'll love it. It's the most exciting city. I know. It's not like Chicago. It's really alive. I've read about that. I think you'll truly feel at home there. Wonder what I'm looking forward to? What? Seeing Broadway musicals. Mitch can get us tickets to whatever you'd like. Also, Rockefeller Center in winter. All oh, the skaters. Well, you can... Also, the many fine museums. I know how hard this is for you. Listening to you say how hard it is for me is what's hard for me. Once you're there, you'll see all the possibilities that are available. Restraints, lithium, electroshock. Schools. In the New York area alone, there's NYU, Columbia. Right, college days. Football games, road trips, necking on the quad. Or if that's not what you want, we can help you find a job. Mitch has terrific contacts all over town. Does he know anyone in the fluffing business? <laughs> I want to make this an easy transition for you. It's going to be easy, Claire. It's going to be so fucking easy you won't believe it. Thank you. I'm going to sit quietly on a plane to New York and live quietly in a cute apartment and answer Dr. Von Heimlich's questions very politely. You can see any doctor you'd like. Or you can see no doctor. I would like to see a doctor called Dr. Von Heimlich. Please find one. And I'd like him to wear a monocle. And I'd like him to have a very soft, very well upholstered couch so that I'll be perfectly comfortable while I'm blaming everything on you. Don't come. No, I'm coming. Stay here. See how you do. I could. You can't take care of yourself for five days. Bullshit! You slept all week. I had to cancel my flight. I missed a week of work. I was this close to taking you to the hospital. I couldn't believe when you finally dragged yourself up. I was tired! You were completely out of it, Catherine. You weren't speaking! I didn't want to talk to you! Stay here if you hate me so much. And do what? You are the genius. Figure it out. When I counted up my demons Saw there was one for every day With the good ones on my 